when I was really motivated. So I'd, I'd make a terrible worker if I was working for someone doing something I didn't believe in. I'd be useless. When I started in Castle, everyone thought I was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> just some just the hippies and the, the weirdos would like to do what I'm just doing. And, and it was very hard, it was. The challenge at Eco Store is that people straight away think, oh, these green products, they don't work very well and they cost too much. Those are both myths. You don't actually pay more for Eco Store products without cleaners. In fact, um, you just use a lot less. So per wash, we are actually, um, Consumer Magazine said, cheapest laundry wash in New Zealand is actually the Eco Store front loader. Because in our 1kg pack, we actually have 64 washes, whereas our competitors have 22. It's just a perception from the past, that they're, and the same with, um, that they don't work. They didn't, maybe, 20 years ago, but the science is actually all going to plant-based now, so the best science in the world has left the petrochemical and now sits in our camp. The petrochemical source versus um, of, of conventional plastics versus the renewable sugarcane um, plastics. One is coming from a source where you can actually manage the process rather than just drip and cold around. It's only the final volume. During the initial phase of growing sugar, you're actually, uh, it's actually pulling carbon out of the atmosphere. So that carbon, which can be produced from your cars, factories, from all, all sorts of materials, anything that produces carbon dioxide, um, the plants are actually absorbing it during the, um, the growth phase. Sugar will be a uh, feedstock for a plastics for a while, but going forward, that's only one biomass that can be used. There'll be other opportunities where we can find other waste streams uh, not necessarily to sugar, there may be timber, there may be byproducts from the dairy industry, maybe from seafood, from whatever. There'll be all sorts of other biomasses that will be able to be utilised. What's really smart about the sugarcane plastic is that it's molecularly identical to uh, petrochemical plastic. So, from a recyclability point of view, when a consumer has got a petrochemical bottle versus a sugar plastic um, bottle, how they use the product at home is exactly the same, the experience they have is exactly the same, and post use they chuck it in the same bin as they have normally done. So there's no behaviour change required from the consumer, so it just makes it really easy. It's when innovations come out that require you know, significant behavioural change, or costs, or accessibility, or user experience. You do things like that, and the consumer has to do too much to actually incorporate into their life, it just becomes far too difficult. You know, you want to make things easier on the consumer, so you just need to make sure that whatever innovations you've got can be easily integrated into people's lives. Reuse is a big problem, all right. Um, <coughs> with our sugar-based plastic, if it goes to the landfill, it is actually still taking carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere and keeping it out. If it's reused, even better. And so therefore, it's still a positive thing. I mean, not saying we want it to go to the landfill, but with this, it's still a positive thing. Chuck it into the, uh, into the recycling bin, and the way it goes and gets processed with the other uh, petrochemical plastics. So they can blend them together and recycle them and they turn up as other bottles or other, other plastics material. There's no difference molecularly, so they can make the bottles from either sugar or petrochemical, so the output is exactly the same. That is a significant cost that we, that we carry, um, but we, because we believe in this technology, we're going to do it. The eco-individuals at the moment, <coughs> they're just ahead of the times. I mean, in 20, 30 years time, everyone's going to be eco. And they're going to look back at this time and think, God, the people who are giving you a hard time now are going to be thought to be the crazy ones, and you're going to be thought you were the clever ones. <laughs>